This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. I just got done filming my May newsletter for the patrons at patreon.com. To all the patrons, the full video will be available on that website if you want to go there and watch the whole thing. But there was one snippet that I wanted to take out and share with everyone, and it is in regards to the end times, trials and tribulations, and the need to not only spiritually prepare, mentally and emotionally prepare, but also highlight that we need to have physical preparedness, something that I've been talking about ever since the genesis of this channel. And the reason why I wanted to share this message was because there were some things laying on my heart, really wanting to reaffirm to people that you need to start preparing because I think times are getting pretty rough everywhere. And it was reaffirmed when I checked out some of my subscriber Facebook feeds. There's a brother in Hawaii, his name is Jason. He's on the island that has the active volcano and the lava that's going through the island, and his property is right in the middle of it. So, brother, I know you're going through a really hard time. You, your family, your friends, your neighbors, um, your properties are literally being approached by this lava flow where some of them are being consumed. I, I can't imagine uh, what you may be going through. I just want you to know that I'm watching, I'm praying, I would like everyone to not only pray for Jason, but to pray for all those that are in the path of this lava flow. Um, they're just devastating that, you know, you may lose your home in terms of that property, but this lava flow is literally destroying the land as well. So a lot of these natural disasters like hurricanes and tornadoes and things will destroy the structures, but you still have your land. But this lava flow is just like mountain rock tearing through your property so brother i just want to let you know that we're, we're thinking about you and praying about you so this could happen to any of us uh, natural disasters it will happen to a lot of us uh, who knows what's all going to come down the pipeline uh, once things really start to snowball on this earth but it just really highlights the fact that we need to have incredible spiritual strength and we need to physically prepare because we have the signs all around us so without further ado, let me just uh, go ahead and cut on over to the snippet of the video that I released for my patrons. Now about what's on my mind and things that I'm seeing in the world. Um, so I just got back from Costco and every time I go in Costco, I sort of have a personal revelation as to how much we are dependent on things and stuff. and. People are just shopping, you know, you want uh, any particular food item or you want any home good item, you just go to the store and pick it up and it's there. And we've just been groomed and cultivated into this society where everything is so easily available. And as I've talked about in multiple videos, I think it is biblical truth. I think it is per the word of God in scripture that we are going to go through tribulation. It's going to be a trying time. It's going to be a testing time. We're going to be refined by fire. And I just think about all the people that have everything so easily given to them, how hard this time is going to be, including myself. Um, you know, I don't live off grid. I don't grow my own food. I wish I could. It's just incredibly hard with time. I think uh, that that's the, the money chain, the money exchangers and the bankers, how they've devalued money to the point where we need two family members or more contributing to a household income because we just don't have the value in our currency before and it just causes us to spend more time working and spend less time actually doing things that matter like learning how to grow food like homesteading like taking care of the family things like that All right, sorry, I got interrupted by my three-year-old. That's life. Um, but what I was saying is that, you know, we basically get everything handed to us so easily, and when it's not available, it's gonna be really, really tough for people. And so I really just recommend everyone to start preparing as best as you can. A lot of us don't have the funds to prepare like others would when, in terms of buying freeze-dried food and things of that nature, but um, I think we're close. And honestly, I don't even know if you really need food that has a 25 year shelf storage. I think that you could honestly start storing canned food at this point, because it just seems like we're very, very close. Within a year to three years, um, this dam might break and we might actually be seeing things start to snowball. Uh, just with the multitude of events happening in, in Syria and North Korea and the whole Middle East peace thing, 
and the Pope. I've got a couple comments on the Pope, but so a good example of this is in Brazil. And my friend Joni Stahl from A Minute to Midnight sent me this article. I need to make sure I get my numbers right on this one, but there was a food distribution truck strike. And so the drivers of all these trucks just striked across the entire country of Brazil. And transportation for the farmers pretty much ceased. And I believe there was about one billion. I hope, I think that's right. John Holler was her resource, and he originally said one million, but he actually said it was a billion. I think it was a billion chickens and several tens of millions of pigs had to be slaughtered immediately because the livestock feed that was given to them couldn't be shipped in because of the workers that were striking. And so they just butchered all this livestock. It's going to flood the market. And then some people are actually worried that it's gonna cause a famine. Now, remember, Brazil is very close to Venezuela, and Venezuela is obviously having lots of food shortages, and Brazil had been taking people in. So Brazil has refugee crisis, they have this uh, food trucks distribution strike that's going on, which is also impacting their food supplies. And the citizenry of Brazil is actually calling on the military to restore order. They're actually calling for martial law to restore order and basically force these truckers to deliver their deliveries or even have the army just assume the role of these workers and, and do the distributions for them. So Latin America as a whole is um, really struggling right now. And you have to keep in mind that that, that area is first world. And that area was actually pretty rich with their oil reserves and they're, they're drilling. And it just reminds you how fragile our whole distribution system is here economically with regards to food or home goods or anything. It relates back to my Costco experience where you have no idea what, what chain in the whole link would break and just disrupt the whole food supply. So you guys really, really have to think about preparing and storing some food and supplies and things of that nature. Again, with this camera, one of the things I hope to do is also start to populate my backup channel with some more videos. I know I sort of stalled on that, and I've only got a couple of the Escape and Evasion series on there, but now that i got this camera, I think I will start to do some more videos on survival techniques and things that I think you'll need when things start to get pretty bad. So um, look out for that as well. I just need to, I just need to find the time.